Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Happy birthday, guys. I cannot believe we are in Pisces season. We've got Mercury in retrograde in Pisces and all of this Piscean energy, okay? So I'm going to be doing a Pisces reading for March, so going into your birthday month as well. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and 12th house placements, okay? So I'm going to pull one card from this mystical shaman oracle and see what the overall energies are for March. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share, and please comment on my videos. That's what helps it getting cir get circulated and get the message out there and the energy flowing, okay? So Pisces, what is the overall energy for you guys for March? Let's see what's happening. Let's crack a lack in here. Pisces, the child. Interesting. I'm already thinking about inner child work. I'm already thinking about maybe watching out for childish behavior, maybe some sun energy, like the sun of the tarot, because that's very um, tapping into your inner child in positive ways. But this is number seven, okay? And um, let's see what it has to say about the child here. All right, so this is the child. The child is here to release you from the habit of being yourself and to help you acquire a beginner's mind so that you could see life as it is for the first time. Remain open to learning and discovery. Who is your spouse or partner today? Can you see them with fresh eyes? Who is looking back at you in the mirror this morning? Become a mystery unto yourself and reconnect with the sense of childlike wonder. The child comes to show you how, to, how you can correct the course of your life without being punished. Set yourself free from your conditioning for suffering. You are born unfettered and happy and can so begin again if you make the choice right now. The child will help you climb out of the hole you may have dug yourself into to recover your sense of play. The child knows the way to joy and happiness. The child offers the return of a second innocence, a time born of wisdom and not of naivety. This card allows you to correct your course and offers you a second chance. It brings you the possibility of redemption and entering heaven while on earth. This is really beautiful, guys. So as you guys are maybe facing another birthday, it's an opportunity to view the world like you are a brand newborn child. This is kind of like that fool energy, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if I end up pulling the fool. But this is starting fresh, okay? So no matter what age you're turning, today, the next couple weeks, the next month, this is the opportunity to still start fresh, start new. It doesn't matter where you are at in your path. And it gives you the permission to have a clean slate, to view yourself in a different light. And maybe um, working on some like unconscious beliefs that are driving you, doing some meditations. Um, I've been doing a 21-day meditation challenge, which is really good for restructuring your brain. So rewiring your brain the way a child even though you're not a child probably watching this, you still have that plasticity of your brain to change its um, chemistry at any point, okay? So the way you do that is through meditation, through vis visualizations, breathing exercises, all right? All right, Pisces, cool beans. So let's see what the past energies were for you guys. As you go into this next month, what kind of past energies were you dealing with or are you bringing in here, okay? We're going to just pull two tarot for past energies. Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess Reverse, which is your guys' sign. So some of you guys could have had some major changes, major karmic situations that kind of knocked you out of your element of seeing things clearly, okay? The High Priestess here has an owl, but it's reverse. So you might have been out of touch with yourself. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. I was just singing that on another song, another um, video, but Hollow Notes, if that rings a bell. Music is big for me, so I'm sure it is for you guys too as Pisces. But um, also we got Sagittarius energy here. So some major changes, some unexpected things might have happened that just made you kind of feel confused about your reality here. But you know what? That might be the opportunity too for you to um, start fresh and just start a whole new clean slate on your thinking, all right? So maybe your old beliefs weren't serving you and that meant to, that happened to help you, all right? Currently, we've got 10 of pentacles, ooh, and four of cups. I think you guys have everything you need right now to have a fulfilling life, to be stable, to have all of the solid foundation you need and all the things you want, but for some reason, you guys aren't seeing it. You're looking at maybe something that happened that didn't work out. It's not like five of cups, like where you're grieving, but you're just kind of like oblivious to it. Um, 
you're not seeing these cups behind you. You're kind of really laser focused on something else here, okay? But the 10 of cups is here and it was actually like this. So I kind of feel like your back is to this, all right? It could also be that someone in your world is trying to offer you this. They want to have a family. They want to have a solid foundation with you and build upon something, but you guys are too focused on something else. And maybe that's just not the avenue you want, okay? And that's all right. But I do feel like it's yours to be had if you want it. All right, so what have we got going into March? Six of Pentacles reverse and Eight of Swords. All right, so you guys could be feeling a little bit off kilter still with that High Priestess having been reversed. Now the Six of Pentacles is reversed. There's a lack of balance, all right? You guys feel mentally entrapped. I feel like you guys want to be set free like the child. You want to be a fool and maybe take on your own course, Um the wheel of fortune could have been things that came into your life that you really didn't want to. It was like you didn't really plan it. It kind of landed in your lap. And now you're just kind of like mentally conflicted about what to do. And you also feel like just off kilter here. Um, you don't feel like maybe the energy that you want to put in is where you want to get the energy back. But you're very stuck in your head. I don't feel like you're really revealing this to anyone i feel like this is just kind of you in your head and this is also like the eight of swords is still trying to get your bearings still trying to get your intuition and really tap into what it is that you really want so i feel like you guys might think that you know what you want but i feel like there's an energy of you're not really quite sure still here okay okay so let's go into a romantic dynamic what we have going on for you guys okay um, whether you're in separation, whether you're with someone, what your feelings are, what you want to maybe hear what the other person feels, where you're at, okay? So we're going to use a few oracle decks here. Uh, Mystic Moon, Healers of the Earth, Hidden Truth, and um, what was the other one? Well, that, I'm just going to use those three for now and see what the energies are, and I might use others to clarify it, okay? All right, Pisces. So what is your current dynamic with the person that you're dealing with all right forgiveness my life is not as together as it seems shaky foundation wow okay so that's what that ten of pentacles and six of pentacles reverses i definitely feel like there's a faulty foundation here so you have what it seems like to be this whole family life together i think that's what your ten of pentacles is unsteady lacking support impractical but really for some reason it's just not working for you. It's just not what you want. The timing might not be right, okay? You might be um, also, this might be someone else that's telling you if you're seeing them and you think they have the Ten of Pentacles, it's not what you think it is, okay? This forgiveness is really interesting. I'm going to um, pull a card and see what that's about. But you might have, um, this person might have done something and you know, they kind of made it look like they didn't need you and they were fine without you. And um, wow, we've got surprise here, okay? I've never gotten this card in this deck. So you might be surprised to know that they're not doing so great without you, okay? They're not as together as it seems, okay? Let's see what other message they got for you here. Could also be a surprise on your birthday. This is like a gift. It could be something surprising about this birthday that you learn. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. Okay, so I feel like this person could have made you feel like you were very insignificant, but they're actually thinking about you a lot, and you would be surprised to know that. You're all I've ever wanted. Okay, so they're still harboring the secret desire for you, okay? Actually, I'm going to pull one tarot card and get just one last confirmation for that. And they also want to apologize. I think they want to make things right. I feel like they might have left in a way that really caused this dynamic a lot of destruction, okay? So let's see. Four of Swords, all right? So it seems like you guys are taking space. You aren't communicating right now but both of you guys are just trying to gather your thoughts and ground yourself in this separation okay okay safe in your bubble safe from harm protected cocoon we both know i am not the one for you and awakening oh my god you guys this person i feel like they felt like they were in a way even if it wasn't conscious they were protecting you um from themselves okay they kind of wanted to keep you safe and they're saying i wasn't the one for you and they felt like they really could have hurt you and they're kind of awakening to their actions and why they did that i feel like they didn't have that consciousness about that at the time but 
Also, you might feel like now you're really guarded because they hurt you, okay? You might feel really protected. You might not want to let anyone else in. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. This person is like, have, look, this is like they said, like, I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. A lot of signs are pointing to you. I feel like this person, this uh, masculine is definitely having an awakening here. They're starting to really see the um, significance of the connection, okay? Just want to pull from a signs from spirit and get clarity here. promise okay so they may have made a promise to you and they might have broken it okay and that's what I feel like this forgiveness is about and it could have almost been like an unspoken promise it could have felt like a soul promise that maybe they never even said but you just felt like with their actions they made it and I feel like in the 5d that's the energy you got and I feel like they're trying to tell you I'm sorry for breaking my promises okay um please forgive me all right Wow, I think that this is very, like a big surprise to you guys, though. I know I messed everything up. Yep, this person wants your forgiveness for sure. Time to fly south, travel, vacation, getting away for a bit. So I definitely feel like you guys are in separation. I feel like this person might be traveling. They might be going somewhere. You might be going somewhere. I feel like maybe someone moved or left the situation when this happened. Something significant could have happened on a vacation or there will be something. And I just want to, like, you know... Even if you end up seeing like some surprising thing about a trip or something, if you guys end up snooping on social media, just know it's not as what it seems, okay? So they could be posting just to make themselves feel better. You just make sure you do things to stay safe in your bubble to ground yourself to not get too upset, okay? Because Mercury is in retrograde and we could be misinterpreting things here, okay? Offer. So uh, that's very interesting. I'm wondering what that's about. This person might end up coming forward with an offer, okay? I do feel like they want your forgiveness. That's already been clear. I'm still haunted by my actions. You guys, this is crazy, okay? So this person has a major remorse, major guilt about what happened here, okay? So I'm just going to pull a few more tarot and get some last confirmations here, right? I'm going to be using this in-between tarot. So each card actually has two tarot messages on it. One that it starts and then it leads into, so... Let's just see some final energies about Pisces situation and what's going on. Two of Wands reversed. There's still like a lot of indecision. Well, you know what? Let me see. These are all reversed. So I'm not going to take them here, okay? I got King of Wands here leading to Page of Wands, all right, which Page of Wands is like that childlike energy. So maybe, you know, this could be you or the person you're dealing with really wanting to explore, really wanting to go their own way for a while, okay, but we've got Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Ace of Swords leading to Two of Swords, okay, so I feel like this clarity, this awakening that your masculine may be having is going to lead them to have to make a decision and to come out of this place of, okay, like I have the truth, I have the clarity, and now where am I moving with it? And then we've got two of wands leading to three of wands. So I do feel like someone's preparing for the future. They're trying to figure out what it is that they ultimately want here, okay? Pull one more. Five of swords leading to six of swords, okay? So I feel like you guys could have had a lot of battles and... There could be, you know, some discord, but I feel like eventually things are going to heal. There could be that person coming forward with forgiveness, okay? Um, clarity and, um, you know, just wanting to reconcile. So let's just get one final message for you guys. What is the last thing that this person wants to communicate? I will make things right between us one day, okay? You guys, this person definitely wants to make things right, wants to settle the score, right? And just know that whatever you see is not what it seems with this person, and they actually are really uh, thinking about this situation a lot, okay? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, happy birthday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.